This section will discuss the, the basics of the digital pen or stylus. The pen has three components. There's the pen tip, the very top. There's a pen button on the rubber grip that allows you to activate the right mouse button function. We'll be demoing that in just a moment. And the rear of the pen, it can be used as an eraser in inked environments only, not in text environments. So, the way to use the pen, this is your main data input device. It can be used as a tablet, as a PC mouse, or as a keyboard. And we'll demo that in just a few moments. Now, to, to manipulate data or on your screen with the pen, pretend it's a mouse. For example, I want to select Internet Explorer. With a mouse, it would be one tap. With the pen, it's one tap. Notice how it is now highlighted. Now I can take my pen, put the pen tip on the screen, and I can drag that icon someplace else, drag, and drop it, just like you would with the mouse. So, if I wanted to open Internet Explorer or open your, your medical application, with a mouse, you would hover the, the cursor over it, and then tap two left clicks to open it. It's the same with the pen. You can rest your hand on the screen, and just two quick taps, one, two and you'll notice Internet Explorer will open. Again, you can move your icons back. That can be used to select move windows and so forth. For example, if I want to open up um, Motion Dashboard, I can take my pen, just like, just like if you're using a keyboard, a keyboard and a mouse, drag it, drop it someplace else. The functions are still there. If I want to minimize it, I would tap the box with the line. If I want to close it, I would just tap the box with the X. Now, the right mouse button function, some medical applications allow you to get more information in certain fields with the right mouse button function. As I stated earlier, on the pen grip, there's a, there's a button. You hold the button in. As you're holding it in, if you tap the screen, you'll notice the right mouse button function appears. Again, it's just a engage the button by holding it in and then tapping the screen. There is another way of engaging the right mouse button function or activating it. That way is just hold your pen, put your pen tip on the screen, hold it motionlessly for about two seconds. A little icon appears. See the right mouse like button icon? When that appears, all you do is lift your pen from the screen and the right mouse button function on menu will appear. Standing, moving, and so forth, that is very difficult to use. There's two ways of doing it. Most people prefer the hold, tap, and release. A couple of quick tips. Holding the pen as close to the tip as possible allows you to easily manipulate it and open up applications. Some users have found that it's very difficult to try and tap to open up an application when you're holding it towards the end. So try and hold by the bottom. You can rest your arm on the screen. Your screen will not, your hand, your fingers will not manipulate any data. The only thing that will be the tip of the pen. So please keep that in mind. That is the basics of the pen. Okay, as stated earlier, the C5 does weigh approximately three pounds. Now, to properly carry the C5, the, 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 hand, the convenient handle at the top will allow you to secure it as you're walking, talking, and so forth. When you're using the C5 and manipulating data with your, with your digital pen, the, the best, easiest way to use the C5 is to position it so it is being supported by your forearm and your entire arm and wrist. Holding the C5 using only your fingers, it's not a very secure environment or way to work. It also will apply pressure on your wrist, forearm, and so forth. So, again, brace it as close as you can to your elbow, hold it to your body, and you can easily see and use uh, the C5. As we stated earlier, you can also rotate the display screen by pressing the function button, and that's the one at the top that's a circle first. Then you press the A button, and you notice it rotates. So every time you press, the circle A, it rotates the screen. Lefties like to manipulate the screen 
So the hand's at the bottom. Now the pen tether is coming up from the left hand side. So it's an easy way for them to work, as opposed to having the tether come across the screen. In portrait mode, you can put your hand actually through the handle like so and have a better grip on it and manipulate data on the screen using the pen. So again, one last time, circle A rotates the screen to portrait and landscape mode. Experiment, find out which, way, which orientation works best for you, but please keep in mind, always keep it secured in your, in your forearm.